Spinal stenosis is a condition where the spinal canal is narrowed. So stenosis is really a generic term for narrowing, and that narrowing pinches on the nerves, and the pinching of the nerves creates uh, clinical symptoms, usually lower extremity pain, weakness, or numbness. The typical treatment for stenosis is to do decompression, which is a removal of bone and ligament in order to free the nerves. In the face of a slippage or a spondylolisthesis, you typically want to uh, stabilize the spine afterwards so the slip does not progress. So the stenosis procedure, the laminectomy alone, is a removal without putting anything else back in. And in that case, you're potentially up to 30 or 40 percent of patients can progress their slippage and require further surgery. So typically speaking, patients with spondylolisthesis and stenosis are treated with a decompression followed by a fusion. What we see in uh, spinal stenosis in most patients is a gradual narrowing of the spinal canal by thickening of ligaments, by spur formation, sometimes a slipping forward. But the net result is that the spinal canal narrows, and then once it reaches a critical narrowing, which probably varies from patient to patient, because why do some people have symptoms associated with severe stenosis and somebody else? There's an accommodation factor. So once it reaches a critical narrowing, then they're typically going to have radicular type symptoms, pain in their legs, numbness, tingling, and, and weakness. Degenerative spondylolisthesis is when the facet joints begin to wear out and they allow excessive amounts of motion. And you get a slipping forward, usually not more than a, a grade one, sometimes a grade two, but not more than that, of a slipping forward of one vertebra on the other. And so that's going to narrow the spinal canal associated with that is thickening of ligaments and degenerative changes that produce central spinal stenosis. Spondylolisthesis is a common condition uh, that is, it becomes even more common as time, uh, as time moves on. And so as our population uh, ages, we're going to see more and more patients with stenosis and spondylolisthesis. The current treatment, although it is efficacious, uh, I would say that about 80% of people end up being pleased with the results that they have. It does uh, have the downside of stopping the motion and it does put stresses at the levels above and below the fusion. And so the concept is to do the similar or exact same decompression that, that frees up the nerves and therefore will allow patients to improve clinically, but then put a device in that does not put stress at the levels above and below the decompression.